Hi students, in my previous video you have obtained the solutions of a linear equation in two variables algebraically. Today I will explain how to represent it geometrically. You know that a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. To represent it geometrically we need some solutions. Let's take one example. x plus 2y equal to 6. First I am substituting the value of x as 0. That means x is 0 that means 2y equal to 6 or y will be 3. Next I am going to substitute the value of y as 0 that means x will be 6. Next. If I substitute the value of x as 2, then the value of y also will be 2. Here I found 3 solutions. And we are going to draw the graph. First solution is 0, 3. 0, 3 means it will lie on y axis. So this point is 0, 3. Next solution is 6, 0. 6 lies on x-axis. So 6, 0 is this point. Next solution is 2, 2. From x-axis 2 and y-axis also 2. Meeting point is 2, 2. We have to draw the graph. That means join these three points by using a ruler. From this we can understand this is a straight line. And for drawing a straight line actually two points only required. So two solutions only we need to find out. I will show one more example. 2x plus y equal to 3. Here I am going to substitute the value of x as 0. That means this 2x term will be 0 or y equal to 3. So 0, 3 is the first solution. Next I am going to substitute the value of y as 0. Then that, uh, that means 2x will be 3. Or x is 3 by 2. 3 by 2 means we can rewrite it as 1, 1 by 2. So the value of x as 1, 1 by 2 or y is 1 and a half. And I told two solutions are enough to draw the graph. Here the first solution is 0, 3. That means it lies on y axis. This is the point. 0, 3. Next solution is 1 and a half, 0. 1 and a half means it lies between 1 and 2 and the middle it will be and it lies, that point lies on x axis. This is 1 and a half, 0. These two points are enough to draw the graph. Join these two points. We will get a straight line. One more example I will show. Next question. X plus Y equal to 100. I am going to take the values. If X is 0, Y will be 100. If Y is 0, X will be 100. If uh, Y e X is 10, y will be 90. If x is 50, y will be 50. If x is 40, y will be 60. So many values we can find out. So many solutions we can find out. I am going to show uh, the graph of a linear equation. 
will be a straight line. These all points, all solutions will lie on the line. Here I took each division as 10, 10 each because x plus y is 100. So, uh, we this is the easiest way to represent it. First solution is 0, 100. 0, 100 means it lies on the y-axis. So, this point is 0, 100. Second solution, 100, 0. It lies on the x-axis. Third one, 10, 90. Means on, on x-axis 10 and y-axis 90. So, this is the point 10, 90. Next, 50, 50. Means on x-axis 50 and y-axis also 50. So, this is the point 50, 50. Next, 40, 60. On x-axis 40 and y-axis 60. Now, I am going to join these all uh, points. See, from this we can understand all points lie on the line. That means, uh, we can find infinitely many solutions. But for drawing the graph uh, of linear equation two variables, we need only two solutions. And all other solutions lie on the same line. Hope you understand it well. Thank you.